boop, 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 boop. All right. Are we live? We are live. Let me scoot this thing over so I can. Why does this seem like it just doesn't want to? It doesn't want to do that. It doesn't want to go smaller. Are we live? Is anybody there? There we go. O'Connor in the house. What's up? I forgot. I don't have to pop the chat out. But I do want to see how this overhead looks. I know I always gripe about my overhead. Well, that's not too bad. I could. Oh, that'll be fine. We need it to be bright anyways. Hi in Detroit, what's up? I know, I always hate it when I can't see you guys. When I'm reading stuff, so I like to try to move the camera <laughs> in front. You had me at wine. <laughs> what's up, JJ? Heaven? Heaven. I just read it. Vamp. <laughs> Ramona Crystal. Rumple, what's up? Trisha. Hi from Berlin. Welcome. Ow. I should go live early. All of the time. All right. Um, so, I want to test. These people sent us. Um, what's it called? It's not. You know, heaven over here. I know, I read. I'm dyslexic, so I get. You know what I mean. Um, this company called Let's Resin said, uh, hey, pick something out. We'd love for you to review it on our channel. So, we've pretty much reviewed what they had. We've reviewed a lot of their stuff. They sent us um, some letters which they're somewhere, but I couldn't find them, but I really wanted to try the, the wine holder, the wine glass and bottle. I think it's called a tote. I can't remember. Sorry about that, Rachel. Um, so I did one earlier today. I did it in, uh, in quick coat just so that I can put some wine glasses on it and put it on a wine bottle. Let me go get the wine. I have a wine bottle. Yeah. Just uh, jump right into it, and I'll show you guys. Show you guys the one that I did today. What do you think about that? All right. So, like I said, I did one earlier today. They sent us like this geode looking one um, and I used blue. I used a really dark blue but it's kind of see-through and some gold um, you can see it's still in the case and I did spray mold release on it which it feels like, oh, here we go. I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't have sprayed mold release on it. These are very flimsy from what I noticed. So what you need to do 
Uh-oh. Looks like I might have burnt it. That's not good. These are very, very flimsy, so where you do it is where it needs to stay, basically. Um, so, unless you put it on like a tray that you can carry to your, uh-oh. Oh no, I thought it ripped. Oh, it did a little. I don't know if it's because it's over the edge. This is ripping. Ouch. Yeah. This is... It might need to stiffen this up a little bit. Because I just ruined this. This is very thin, though. See, I'm glad I did that. They really need to thicken these up. <clears throat> but, here we have the little tote holder. See through it, but you cannot. You might need to shut that. Um, so let's see how this works. Went over, goes over the bottle. I know this is probably going to warp. Maybe I need to get. <laughs> a bigger uh, or a smaller wine bottle or wine bottle but it definitely goes over it and it holds the glasses so there you have it I guess it does its job for a decoration I don't know if it's supposed to stop you know or I don't know so let's just uh, let's get right into this one, and then um, I'm not going to use quick coat. I'm going to use uh, art coat so it dries a little uh, slower and probably not bubble up as much. So I'm going to get a tray so I can take this to the dust-free zone. Sorry. Today we're going to be using uh, art coat. I made a little mermaid tail. <laughs> That's cute. Some leftover. Alright. I am not prepared today, am I? Not one bit. Like some gold powder. I don't think we have any here though. I don't. Oh well. Alright. So we're gonna use some art coat today by Stone Coat Countertops that we sell. We sell that in half gallon kits on the uh, No video. Is there no video? What? We'll see you later, Lisa. I ruined that one. 
Now to use this one. This one is just as thin. It probably should beat this up. I would definitely beat that up. Truly not ready. I had an hour to prepare. All right. So if you don't know, Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat is a one-to-one -one epoxy resin with an amazing UV protectant, um, up to 500 degrees resistant, and the best thing about this stuff, it's got two hour working time and a, uh, you know what, I'm gonna make six ounces just because I don't, you know what, let's just do the same because that was pretty much just right. Um, no odor and you get two hour working time, sorry. You guys really can't see the video? I'm just gonna make just over five ounces. You want to mix this for at least two minutes. Um, anything larger, probably three minutes. Anything larger than this, probably four or five minutes, just to make sure. Mix your sides. Don't forget your stir stick. So, how's everybody's... T what is it? Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, we are using Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. The best in the biz. We want to thank Mike over at Stone Coat and the whole Stone Coat crew and family for their support and their just amazing friendship and their resin. You can't beat it, it's the best around. Thursday, yeah, it's Thursday. We forget, I forget what time, what time, what day it is. You know, I apologize. Like I said, we sell this on our website, artistselldeath.com. So I'm going to use Just Resin Black and some Just Resin Bright Gold paste. I really want to use some of their powder. I like their powder because it kind of, uh, let me see if I can find their powder real quick. I wanna, I'd rather use that for this paste. Do this. We're going to use 
their just resin uh, bright gold, which is a paste. And then I'm going to run some of this Midas Touch. Look at that, y'all. That's beautiful. Through this gold. To uh, bring out some fun details. stick here. No, let's just use this guy. Alright, I'm gonna stir this up because you never know. Some sometimes you need to stir these just resins up to mix them up that they've been sitting a minute. I haven't used black in a long time. I'm kind of excited. Especially for something about wine. Wine's very classy, black and gold is very classy. Just gonna use. You don't need a lot. Black is black, and even if it is not opaque, which it, I'm sure that it will be, um, maybe see through would be even even fun. We're gonna use a lot of black, so we'll mix quite a bit. We'll mix. Just a little bit of gold because you don't use a lot of gold. You just kind of want it to give it some veins through your black. So we'll just mix that much. That's very nice. And then we will use this stuff. Look at this, y'all. This is, I don't even want to try to dump that. It'll go everywhere. So I really want to load this up. Let's see if that's enough. Because I don't have a lot left in here. But I like to put that, that powder in there first and then put the resin over it. So when you stir it, you don't get a plume of powder or mica powder or whatever you're stirring in there in your face. So. This should be cool. Look at that. That's a nice one. What do we got here? Kelly, can you also store your resin colorant in a mixed jar with part A in it and mixes better? No. Don't do that. Is, is that what Kelly's asking? If you could put part A and part B? Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, put your color in resin in part A. I don't know. We've never done that. Yeah. I, I mean... You could try it, just mix like two ounces, just put like a part A, and then put, put some, you know, put something bright in there, like a magenta or a bright yellow. Let it set for a week or two, or a month, who knows. Um, and uh, see how that works and let us know, shoot. We would love to know that ourselves. I've never done that. Um, you really don't really have to do that with art coat because you have a two hour working time. Now maybe you could do that with uh, with some quick coat. That would be kind of fun. And Vamp, yeah, I, I get what you said, but I don't think that it's enough. Like I, I wouldn't I wouldn't think that that would be enough to throw it off. But you never know. And then it might make it too, uh, maybe too watery. Who knows? I don't know. All right. So if we have extra, I do have a couple coasters that I brought over here so we can use those. All right. So I guess we'll just fill it up with the black first. Hold on, I'm gonna wipe this down. 
in case you get something in here. And I gotta be careful with that heat gun because y'all saw what happened. And it might be just because it's quick coat. So it's set up really fast, it heated up, and then it just kind of um, stuck to that. But then again, it could be this material. So you just gotta be real careful with the, with the torch. So I'm just gonna fill this up with gold, or I'm sorry, black. trying to fill it up fill it up already because there's going to be gold I'm going to be putting gold in here so you really want to leave some room for your gold and your other sparkle see I'm just trying to hit this really fast I'm not doing it slow at all and I'd really like to pop these bubbles I'm going to use a heat gun for this just because that's very That stuff was very thin, and I don't want to ruin this mold. I'm going to thank Let's Resin. I'm not sure where they're from, but I'd like to thank Just Resin for sending us this stuff. Let's see if we got some heat here. Oh yeah, I got to show you guys the heat gun that I I got. I got an itch one day and wanted to take off the resin of a heat gun and I started and then I just kept on. We'll let that cool down a little bit before we put that gold in there. And I just kept painting it and I love it. And I didn't use the airbrush because I wanted to see if I could make it look like neon with Posca pin. But I thought that was kind of fun and just kind of dab my finger <laughs> along. And then I did some fun stuff on this side. And I wanted to see what it looked like with gold leaf. So I put blue gold leaf on it and then I sprayed it with matte and it still looked good. Like it was still, it had a shimmer to it which blew my mind because I thought for sure it would take it away. But I thought that's fun. Get a little bang on there. And it still works. We've had so many of these. All right, so now I'm gonna run some of this bright gold through here. You guys, doesn't this look so much better during the daytime when I film it? Why does this not wanna stay? This is like. I wonder if it's because of the, the, uh, the springs. I have too many springs in it. Sorry for all the movement, y'all. Alright, so I think I'm just going to kind of run these through here like a like a vein, like like marble. I haven't done that in a while. See, you don't even need a lot. Like, you really don't need pretty much any
It's crazy, that just sinks. Like if you try to put a thicker line in there, it just sinks. so fun but it's just it's literally just sinking look at that look how fun that is and it just sinks Let's run some of this here. Let's do one line in there. Well, that's stain. is that I'm just gonna leave that that's super fun yeah I'm hoping so Teresa I hope that it stays like if it sinks to the bottom put this uh, sparkle in there maybe I'll just I'll just line it we'll see what, a, what this one line looks like in here ooh Super fun. Hopefully it'll stay, which I doubt it. That black just takes over. Well, we'll see. This is very, very thin, so you have to be really careful with this. All right, we got a couple coasters. I got some gold left. Put some of this gold down. And black coaster. See, you could sell these as a set get you one of these uh, Let's Resin kits here. Let's see, we got some left, right? We got some of this clear left almost. Do a couple coasters. Ooh, and since I put that in there, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in there. It'll be black gold. 
since this is technically not a color, this should just... <gasps> it does. It makes black gold. I hear ya. Arr. Yep. Okay, well, there's a, there's a spot. make this look like a gold marble. Really fun. That'll be fun. Look at that. nice with this gold in here that mica Midas touch from just resin it just barely like you can barely just see it but man that's super fun Let's see if we can maybe make a fun drip some cells so that should be fun. I'm just gonna let that drip all the way off there because that's way too much gold. Now these are gonna make some awesome coasters. too much gold on there. You can't go wrong with black and gold, you know? Like, you really can't. You can mess up black and gold and it still look good. Right, let's do that one more time. I'm just put not so much. Uh, look, all that gold is sinking. All that glitter, all the bright gold. So hopefully it'll sink to the bottom and <laughs> you'll be able to see it. Because that would be such a waste. themselves. You 
can't mess with black and gold. It's such a nice, nice combination. Okay, you guys see this one, this is fun. Look at that. That is super fun right there. All right, so let's put, I have some, What time is it? I'm gonna have to be leaving here in a minute. I gotta go start these stairs over at OAP. I'm supposed to start two days ago, but the stairs needed a little construction, so I have to wait. I'm gonna go buy some big stencils today, which should be awesome. It should be fun. That one's gonna be nice, that one's gonna be nice. I don't know about this one, but it'll be fun, that's for sure. <laughs> Check that out. Damn, I don't think I put this on the shiny side. I did not. Well, that's going to suck. Unless I can just transfer it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. All right. I don't know how I'm going to get this off of here. I'm gonna have to take it off because the cats. Oh, well, let me take these to the dust free zone and uh, I'll be right back. Maybe I can just slide this off of here. <laughs> Somehow. Oh 
away. Alright, we're just going to have to, we might lose some. Look at there. Didn't make it one on the. <laughs> Let me take this to the dust free zone. will conclude our review. Those are fun. Um, I wish they would make them a little thicker. I'll let you guys take care of that. Um, see ya, Ocean. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for showing up today. So, um, there's their geode form. They're called Let's Resin. I'm not sure where they're from. Um, pretty thin. The actual product is very thin, so they probably want to improve on that. Um, but we'll see how the, uh, that, I used, like I said, I used uh, Arc Coat, no, Quick Coat. So the heat might have had to do something with that. Maybe it stuck to it and made it rip. Um, so we'll see how the Arc Coat does tomorrow. Um, you, Alex, you just want to put a little heat on it. Just a little torch or a heat gun. Just little heat gun um, I've never sprayed I've never sprayed alcohol on mine before I'm, I'm sure somebody has but I've, I've never done it um, so there you have it thank you let's resin um, hopefully you'll see this video um, I keep looking over here because normally the second screen is over here so <laughs> So, um, yeah, have an awesome Thursday. I'm going to go buy some spray paint and some stencils and uh, have some fun on some stairs. I'll definitely take video um, and record and pictures and all that fun stuff. So, be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. Have an awesome Thursday. Sorry about that. Um, and uh, we shall see you guys tomorrow. And remember, we do the tests so you don't have to. <laughs> Bye.